Linear regression is easy to do with Excel's built-in tools. In this video, we'll explore what linear regression is, why it's useful, and the Excel tools that enable you to do it with a click of just a few buttons. Let's start with an example. Here I have some data on plant growth, how many hours sunlight it gets per day, and how much rain in millimetres. One way I can understand how sunlight and rain contribute to growth is to use linear regression to model the relationship between the dependent variable, in this case the plant growth, and one or more independent variables. Here we have sunlight hours and rain. It's useful because it allows us to identify the relationship between two variables and make predictions based on that relationship. It's commonly used in fields such as finance, economics and science to make predictions and inform decision making. To model linear regression with Excel, I need to organize the data into a table. We're going to start with just one independent variable. Here I've got sunlight, and this way we can use charts to model linear regression. I want my independent variable in the first column, and then the dependent variable in the next column, so that they're plotted on the X and Y axes, respectively. So with my data selected, I'm just going to insert, and I want a scatter chart. Let's bring it over closer. And then I can simply add a trend line, and I'm going to just go into More Options. Let's bring the formatting pane over here closer to the chart. You can see it's defaulted to a linear trend line. And down here, I can choose to also display the equation and the R squared value. Let's just bring them up here so they're not covered up by the grid lines. If you're already familiar with these concepts, you can skip ahead to the next section where I show you how to use the free analysis tool pack add-in to perform regression analysis. You'll find timestamps in the video description Otherwise, continue watching for an overview of how you can use the equation and R squared value. The equation y equals 0.08x plus 0.1667 represents a straight line that shows the relationship between the two variables. Relating it to this data, the equation can be used to predict or forecast the growth rate for a given value of sunlight. The coefficient 0.08 is the slope of the line, which represents the rate at which the growth changes for every unit increase in sunlight. In this case, the slope indicates that for every one hour increase in sunlight, that is x, the plant growth in centimetres, which is y, is expected to increase by 0.08 centimetres. The intercept of 0.1667 represents the value of y when x is equal to 0. In other words, is the value of y when there's no x effect. In this case, the intercept indicates that the growth is expected to be 0.1667 when sunlight hours are equal to zero. Now, whether that's biologically true for plants, I can't say. Now, to use this equation to make predictions, you would simply substitute the value of x into the equation. So 0.08 times, let's say we have five sunlight hours, plus 0.1667 gives us a growth of 0.5667 centimeters. By the way, we can also generate the equation using the Linest function. So the known y's are the plant growth, the known x's are the sunlight hours, and that gives us the same slope, coefficient, and intercept that we have on the chart. The R squared value, also known as the coefficient of determination, is a statistical measure that explains the strength of the relationship of a linear regression model. It's a number between 0 and 1, where 0 indicates that the model does not fit the data at all, 1 indicates that the model perfectly fits the data. To put it simply, here we can say 52.5% of the plant's growth is a result of the sunlight hours. A high R squared value indicates that the independent variables have a strong relationship with the dependent variable and are able to explain a large proportion of its variation. We can also perform regression analysis with the data analysis tool pack, which can handle multiple independent variables. For example, we could model the effect of sunlight and rain on plant growth. The data analysis tool pack is a free add-in available in Excel. You can enable it via the file tab and then options and then down in add-ins, I want to then click go. And here, make sure it's checked in the box and click OK. You'll then be able to access it on the data tab of the ribbon on the far right, data analysis. 
Here I want to choose regression and click OK. Now it remembers my selections from earlier, but let's just delete them and we'll start from scratch. So my input range is Y. That's my dependent variable, in this case growth. And my independent variables are sunlight hours and rain. These variables need to be in columns that are adjacent to one another so you can select them in a single range. I've got labels checked because I've selected the row labels for my columns. And I'm just going to pop it here beside the data. I've also got residuals checked and residual plots. Let's click OK and take a look at what it gives us. Now there's a lot of information here, so I'm going to just cover the key results. The regression statistics measure the strength of the relationship between the variables. Our values close to one show a strong positive relationship and our values close to negative one show a strong negative relationship. Our values close to zero show no relationship at all. And we can see from this data that the relationship between the variables is strong. The R squared value tells us that 94.6% of the growth is as a result of sunlight hours and rain. The standard error tells us how wrong the model is on average. The lower value, the better. In this example, we know that the standard distance between the predicted growth and the actual growth is on average 0.06 centimeters bigger or smaller. The analysis of variance table, an over for short, measures the levels of variability within your model. The coefficients table returns a series of statistical tests. Here we can see that both sunlight hours and rain have a positive association with growth and that for every sunlight hour the plant will grow 0.066 centimeters and for every one millimeter of water it will grow 0.038 centimeters. Now the residuals shows the difference between the actual data points and the predicted data points based on the equation. We know from the chart that in this example the equation is y equals 0.08x plus 0.1667. They illustrate how well your model fits the data. Now ideally the residuals should be scattered around zero and because I chose to plot them we've got these two charts here that allows us to visualize them. And we can see that they're all within 0.1 plus or minus. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file containing the examples for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.